Wait, let's talk to Rose first. Are you missing any papers? Are you missing any papers? Funny you should ask. Yes, I did misplace some old letters, but I'm sure they'll show up soon. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Do you know what gumbo foo means? No, not that I can remember. I can see I you're can busy. See you're busy. I'll, let you go. I'll let you go. Take care. Okay. Let's ask Abby. Oh, wait, let's check the times when people are available to talk. Charlie ate to 5 p.m. Okay, maybe we should set it to 12 p.m. Actually. Um, okay. Let's see if we can talk to Abby at least. Nancy, I can't believe we had a fire. I can't believe it. I bet Charlie was down there before it started. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Because he's always around at the scene of these accidents. I told I'm not Rose so to sure. fire him, but she won't listen to me. What kind of person is Charlie? Seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. Ugh. It's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? Lewis. He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Have you seen the poem in my room? Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. How long have you known Rose? How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Do you know what gumbo foo means? Gumbo foo? I love gumbo. What kind of gumbo is gumbo foo? Does Charlie live around here? Does Charlie live around here? I'm not sure. He said he's between apartments. I think he said he's staying with friends until he can find a place of his own. Is Charlie from the Bay Area? Is Charlie from the Bay Area? I don't know. You might want to ask Rose. He doesn't talk much about his private life. Between apartments. That seems kind of odd. Between it's apartments? It's probably hopping different that seems places. seems kind of odd. Not for San Francisco. Rents are really True. high, and there are so many kids thinking they can find cheap housing out here. Do the house- It's sad to say, but a lot of them end up on the streets. Do the house- True. Did the house come with a lot of furniture? Did the house come with a lot of furniture? There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the You know study, what I forgot to do? Bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. We need Oh, okay, sorry, Abby. I didn't know we were going to show your eyes. Um We forgot to do something. Let me go back. Okay, now we're going to check the floppy disk. Fact from fiction, the great Christmas gold robbery, Charlie Murphy. I don't turn paper. Okay. Cool. We're gonna go back to Charlie and give him back his hey, floppy desk. Hey, there's been another accident. You gotta believe me, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one. Hmm. So I returned it. And that's all there is to it? And that's all there is to it everyone thinks i'm causing these accidents because i was always the last one there but i had nothing to do with them i can tell you this there's something unusual going on in this house do you have any proof so do you have any proof i'd better not say anymore sorry okay have you met lewis chandler what do you know about him have you met lewis chandler chandler what do you know about him he's an antique dealer i, I think i guess he does consulting work for rose like on victorian furnishings and stuff how do you like working for Abby? How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. What do you mean? What do you mean? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose has sort of had it, you know? 
Abby thinks the house is haunted, do you? Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. Charlie, I found this diskette. I think it's yours. Charlie, I found this diskette. I think it's yours. I was wondering where it was. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Luckily, I had a backup at the school. That must be an interesting paper you're writing. That must be an interesting paper you're writing. I just started to write it, so I don't know very much about the robbery. It's hard to separate fact from fiction, especially when most of the information is based on rumors. Whatever happened to the gold? Whatever happened to the gold? Nobody knows. Some historians say that the bank faked the robbery to collect the insurance money. Was it El Diablo who stole the gold or someone else? Was it El Diablo who stole the gold or someone else? It was definitely El Diablo, but no one knows who he was. In my opinion, El Diablo never existed. He was a composite of different outlaws from that era. Do you know what the words gumbo foo means? Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. Have you come across any hidden passages down here? Have you come across any hidden passageways down here? Passageways. You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? I'll let you get back to your renovation. I'll let you get back to your renovation. So long. Bye. Okay, now we're gonna ask Lewis, the last dude, um, that we haven't talked to yet. That we need to talk to. Um... Louis Chandelier, Louis. Okay, antique dealer, weirdo, Louis. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, what do we expect? Him? Hello. Ah, Nancy. What a shame to have lost those papers, and to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Were the papers very valuable? Were the papers very valuable? Not for my purposes, no. But they must have had some sentimental value. I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. E. Valdez. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. It's a little weird. What kind of antique store do you own? What kind of antique store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. And it's called Chandler Interiors, specializing in the Victorian period. I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Was this house once a hotel? Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. Do you know why the fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen? Do you know why the fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen? No, I don't. Um, now, now I remember. I, I was to purchase an antique fire screen, but never found a suitable match. I feel just terrible. That's real I terrible. I must... about this. That was kind of fake. Uh, I don't know about you, Lily. Do you think Rose should sell the house? Do you think Rose should sell the house? I leave that decision up to her. She's put an extraordinary amount of time and money into it, and I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. But whatever her decision, I will assist her however I can. Um... Do you know what gumbo foo means? Yeah, okay, now this is the part you don't want to screw up. Means? Where did you hear that? You don't want to say it's in a book because he'll know right away you looked in his suitcase. Um, so I read a magazine briefings. I read about it in a magazine. I see. As I recall, it means house of great books. After the great earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses 
gumbo food. Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? Yes, I certainly do. She was a very popular actress in the late 1800s. She was very generous and left all of her money to the Ladies Protection Society. Hmm. Have you seen the poem in my room? Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, that one. Yes, it's just some cheap Chinatown souvenir. Do you know what a phoenix is? Do you know Everyone what a knows, phoenix right? is? Yes, it's a mythical bird-like creature that builds a nest every 500 years and then sets itself on fire to rise forth reborn from its ashes. It's a very popular symbol in the Bay Area. In fact, there's one on the main staircase. Do you think Charlie's doing a good job? Do you think, Do you think you're doing, a good, doing job? a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. I won't keep you any I longer. I won't keep you any longer. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, you're welcome. Anything for you, Louis? <laughs> Let's get out of here. He's weird. Um, he seems like bad news. I don't know. I get a vibe off him. Um, not that I don't know anything. Okay. Um, Rose, Rose, Rose. I'm glad you dropped by. You know, I wanted to tell you that you'll mm. be alone in the house for a while. Everyone is going to the winter festival, and Charlie's studying for finals. Hmm. I also took That's down sad. one of the tapestries in your room for dry cleaning, and what was the other thing? Oh, a messenger dropped off a letter for you. I put it in your room. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. Okay, let's go upstairs and inspect our letter someone sent us. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's hard to move sometimes. <laughs> um Here we go. Letter we just got a letter. It's not that one. Left it in my oh okay, it's here right here. Nancy Drew from Emily Foxworth. Here we go. Nancy, I'm sorry I could not drop this off myself, but I'm out the door for a month-long photo shoot in Mexico. I spoke to my friend about Gumbu Fu, and she told me that it means Gold Treasure Mansion. She wrote the Chinese symbols below. Hasta luego, Emily. Golden Wonder. Golden Wonder. That's it? Okay. Cool. Let's see. I know there's an area right here, and that's the tapestry she got rid of. So, there's this. These can be pushed in, I think. They're the Chinese zodiacs. Hmm. No. We gotta... Go see that Chinese symbol, the Chinese zodiac again. I think. Um, let's set our alarm at three and let's look back in Abby's room. Everyone left, right? So we're alone and there's still some ghosts. Um, she is not here. It's good. Nope. Nope. It was on the shelf. Zodiac and you. It's in this order, I believe. So the first puzzle is the zodiac animals, or the Chinese animals. You're the rats first, you're the ox, tiger, rabbit, I took a picture of this, dragon, snake, ram, monkey, 
Okay. Now this is based on the tapestry and the symbols, which I wrote down. Listen, my child. To the story of dreams. And know that the beginning How to remove it. Oh, okay. There is something here. Beginning would be... I think I just passed it. Okay, three is... Daughter. When the four daughters. Daughters for when the eye of the phoenix is in my hands. Seven. Moon. King. River. This. And then gold. Now it should open. And then what do we have? Last will and testament for the state of Elizabeth Applegate Valdez. I, Elizabeth Valdez, do hereby make this my last will and testament to my dear friend Nellie Beacom, my black onyx necklace and earrings, and the sum of $5,000 to my employee Wing Tang, the sum of $15,000 to my cherished secretary Ma Mabel Crady, the sum of $10,000, and to my beloved husband Diego Valdez, the entirety of my estate, my house, and its contents, with the exception of the bequests above. In the event that my husband Diego Valdez, now located after a period of one year after my death, or is found to be deceased, the entirety of my estate, with the exception of the bequests above, are to be liquidated, and all proceeds of said transaction are to be provided to the Ladies' Protection Relief Society. Witness this 8th December. 8th day of April, 1902. Okay. Now we got this. Our wedding day. As thy days, so shall thy strength be. True love. And I shall be with you. So this is Diego and Elizabeth Applegate. Okay, cool. Oh, what's this? My dearest Elizabeth, I can never... Uh... Fully, I can, I can never really, a sweet name, I could, I don't know what this is, by calling you Lizzie, you shall evermore be Elizabeth, my Elizabeth, the sweet, dear woman who had honored me with her enchanting presence and grace. Tonight, I ride on yet another perilous ship, just always... To, to your beloved one. El Diablo, okay. What's this one? My dearest Elizabeth, the only one soul of this great earth knows the two uh, secrets that circle my heart. My love for you, my secret identity. Know that mm, that's my intention. That Know that my intentions are the periods and all that is. I Sometimes I can't recurse of someone. Let's see what's in here. Oh my, some jewelry, lost jewelry here. Um, we're gonna have to do this. Missing here. This. Now it's gonna give us a little puzzle. And so 
we're going to have to figure out the pyramid box. Hmm. This is a sun and moon puzzle. Let's do the corners first. Now we do the center. And that should give us something. What did I give us? Oh, frick. Slider puzzle. Ew. Okay, now we're going to set our clock to 4 p.m. Um, that's pretty much a good time, I think. Set. And this gem right here is for the eye on the 
stairs, that eagle without an eye. So let's do that. Ew, go away. That sounded like Lewis, didn't it? Um. Okay, we're near the ending. Um. Now it should give us something. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Watch what happens. Gold! And to think I was standing on it all along. <laughs> Too bad no one will ever find out about it. Lewis? Okay. I knew it. There must be over a million dollars in here. I've got to stop him. You don't want to go the creaky way. You want to go the right way. And then I want to quickly click this three times, I think. What? Hey. Bye. Oh, Fucking dirtbag. Hey, hey, get me out of here. Bye, Lois. Dear Beth, that party obviously was a very good remembering. And counting out all of those gold I mean, I played this a bunch of times. All of the accidents, hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house so he could find the treasure himself. Although Rose and Abby may not have a legal right to the gold, the bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for finding it. The house also has gotten a lot of publicity with all the news stories, and the place is booked solid for the Golden Gardenia. I guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days, even if there are no such things as ghosts. You sure? Uh, I think. See you soon, Nancy. The end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed, everybody. Um, that was kind of cringy of me to say, but don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next game.